Today I'll be finishing the soffits. Uh, all the J channels are in, so all I have to do is cut the soffits to length and put them in. So it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Also went to Home Depot get some border for the for the door. And surprisingly, the cedar is actually cheaper than the pine, so I went with cedar, but it'll be painted anyway. I was gonna do the rest of the soffits today, but decided I should probably do the frame around the door first, because when I go to do the uh, siding, I want to be able to butt up the the L brackets or the L. J channels, yeah, J channels around the frame so that it's all nice and tight. So I'm gonna do the frame first because I'm gonna need to cut it, measure it, make sure everything's good, and then I'm gonna have to paint it before I put it up so that it's paint on all sides of the wood. So I'm gonna do that today, and then I have to leave shortly, so that's pretty much gonna be all I'm gonna do for today. So here we go. today it's about nine so it's gonna get dark soon and that's what I like about summer is that the days are actually really long this is very short-lived only lasts a month or two and after that's like dark by five so that kind of sucks so yeah so basically the primer is on the border and then I put the first coat of paint and then after that I just need to install it once the paint dries do another coat of paint and caulking and then it'll be set now the reason I'm painting them off before it's installed is so I can paint both sides Second coat, well it doesn't matter as much as long as the first coat is on both sides so there's just less chance of it to rot and it's actually cedar so I mean the odds of it rotting is pretty slim so this should keep the door sealed and stop water from coming in. And apparently my cat wants attention. But yeah, so that is pretty much going to be it for today. I better go give my cat some attention or I might die in my sleep. This is now a new day. Uh, yesterday it rained really hard so I didn't do any work. And the day before that's when I did the border for around the door of the shed. So 
that has a cold primer and a cold paint. So I'm going to install that frame and caulk all around it, make sure it's nice and sealed within the door and everything. Give it another coat of paint and then we're going to keep going on the soffits, which I wanted to do last time and I didn't end up finishing. I just have to cut the panels and put them under the, the overhang of the roof. And the whole goal of those panels is mostly just to look nice, but also because they let the air go in and then the, the heat can escape from the, the top of the, the ridge vent. So normally for a shed it doesn't really matter, but if ever I want to insulate it, that would basically be an attic space. So you do want it to be properly vented so it doesn't get moisture and everything. And if by chance you get a small leak, at least it'll kind of dry and vent out. Now we had big pouring rain yesterday. Like it just didn't stop. It was like we were driving out of town and it was like being at the car wash pretty much. So basically if I didn't get any leaks, chances are I should be good. But the rain was coming down straight, so I'll know for sure next time we get driving rain that's like going like 90 degrees kind of thing. But I'm pretty confident that it won't leak. So yeah, so I'm going to do the frame around the, the shed door. That shouldn't take very long. I'm probably going to paint it another time as long as it's there. So when I put the J-trim for the siding, I can just butt it up against and it'll be nice. So yeah, so I'll do that. I'll do the soffits and then... Hopefully today I can actually start on the siding. I want to at least do the J trims and the corners and pretty much all the trims around. And then tomorrow I can actually get started on just the siding. I'm thinking that's going to go pretty quick. I've never done it before, but it should go pretty quick. So yeah, so that's going to be what I'm going to get to work to and start doing now. So the soffits are in, I just have to do the fascia and believe it or not the caulking around the door frame is still not dry so I'm gonna wait to do the painting, might even just do that tomorrow or some other time, it's not really rush. So the, the main thing is the soffits, so that's more or less done, I mean, I have to do something to the corners, I need to find a way to basically stop bugs and stuff from getting in because it's still kind of open. So what I'll probably end up doing is just putting a whole bunch of insulation and then putting some spray foam. And then when I do my siding, I'll just be able to kind of cover that so it looks decent. So siding, I'm probably going to start tomorrow sometime. I think I'll call it quits for today, but kind of debating. I ordered myself a nice puts in, so can't wait for that to come in. That should be good. So once I'm done eating that, then I'll decide if I keep going or not. So that's it for now. Oh, just look at that beauty. So I just finished eating and the camera, the battery died so it's charging right now so the time lapse is pretty much going to end now and the only thing left is to do the fascia and then if I have more time, if I decide to, I'll, I'll start on the, the siding, all the trim and all that. So I'm not going to actually show that because the main camera battery died so it's charging right now and this camera, well this is actually my phone, it's kind of awkward to try to place this in a certain way like it doesn't have a tripod mount or anything like that. So. I'm just going to go ahead and finish the work and then show some footage after. So with the magic of editing, you're going to see it in like 30 seconds from now, not even. So 
that's the other thing too. As I keep making videos like this, if I decide I want to keep going, I will get myself better equipment and spare batteries and that kind of thing. So as I progress, I'm sure the content will be better and there's going to be more footage and stuff. And when I'm doing indoor projects, I'll probably talk more in between the projects. When I'm working outside, it's kind of awkward to start talking to a camera if there's people around and all that. So for now, like most of the outside projects, you know, I'm going to explain what I do, do it, show a time last of it, and then kind of do an outro and that'll be it. But, you know, as I progress, I'll kind of play around with different formats. So I'm going to go and finish that work. And assuming I get around to actually finishing it, you're going to see it right now. Well, this concludes this video. Uh, so there's a bit of a face shit left to do, but I decided to call it quits since I'm going out with a friend. So I'll finish the rest tomorrow. I'll wash up a bit, and this is it for today. Bye.